Welcome to another video by Kilio Corey's Fish Room. Today we are going to talk about a recent Cambria Killifish Study Group meeting we had. Just to give an idea to some of you who might never been to a fish meeting like this one and for those of you who missed out on coming due to various reasons just to give you a little um, review or just an update on how it went so we hold the Canberra Killifish study group meeting at the Kilio Corries fish room for the last few years because we have a convenient studio space just outside the fish room and it makes meetings run easily and smoothly and we don't mind hosting as well myself and my wife so we hosted in this space we cater our meetings with some finger food and sort of light lunch type things because we have members visiting from Sydney they basically drive for three hours to get to our meeting and then drive back for three hours so we do like to have both for Canberra people and Sydney people and any other interstate guests so they have some food and drink during the meeting. Oh, it's a quite a nice spread and here are our four Sydney members arriving from their drive. First up we had Keith giving a talk on making a box for non-annual or annual egg incubation using a styrene box either a fish box or a uh, vegetable box like a cauliflower box which units you can use which components you can use to heat and cool it in summer and also in winter to incubate your eggs at relatively stable temperatures with bits and pieces you can buy online from various pieces setting it up with a little know-how quickly and cheaply then we had a quick talk by Peter on how to make small filters for small containers like shoe boxes using a PVC T piece, an uplift airline, and some filter wool to create these small filters that help with filtration and circulation, helping keeping small containers stable. After that, very quickly, we talked about Fundalopanchax chilei being available in the Australian killifish hobby through a recent import and how pleasing it was to see this fish in Australia again. Then it was time for our raffle. Every meeting, generously, Michael from Canberra Aquatics, who is also a member of our group, gets us plants at cost so that we can include in the raffle and this time we had Tropical Australia provide us a Tropical Softline America size S and size M to include in the raffle it's basically the dry food that I use for my killifish that they all eat these were all generously supplied In our raffle, we use the Sydney Killy Group model where members bring fish, eggs, plants and miscellaneous aquarium goods to include in the raffle. And every item that they bring for the raffle earns them free tickets and then members also buy tickets for the raffle and then we draw the um, numbers using a random number generator and we go through the list and members can follow the list through printed lists and on the screen. So we get quite a few things in the raffle, not necessarily just killies. These are chocolate grammy juveniles, a member bread. So they were available in the raffle as well. Um, so this is the scene of the crime, the big screen. And of course, each meeting, part of the time is spent 
looking at the fish room and talking fish. And this is the Sydney group now leaving after four hours, conclusion of the meeting. And this is Gardner Eye gold eggs that I won in the raffle. Um, it was eggs pretty much developed. So by the time I took the eggs out of the vial, they had all hatched, as you can see. The other lot of eggs I won in the raffle is this Australibius nigropinus San Javier Missionaires. I probably said that a bit wrong, but um, it's a South American annual from Uruguay, Paraguay and Argentina. That's where they are found, the uh, nigropinus. Um, as well as the talking fish and raffle and etc., it's a good opportunity to network. Uh, Peter from Sydney brought me this male Simpson XT Centene because I had two nice girls but no males. So meetings like this allow us to swap fish, you know, the odd sexes between the members just to ensure that we are able to continue to breed them. Uh, Santana is a annual killifish from South America, from Brazil. Um, the fry are quite small when they hatch, um, but we breed these guys in a little container with some peat moss. Uh, quite an attractive little um, South American annual and I was really happy to have received this spare mail of Peter's. Peter also brought me three male Epiplates de Gedi. Another member of us of the group who couldn't come uh, to this meeting in there from Sydney had bought a group of them and he had some spare males. He offered them to me and I basically wanted them because even though I have quite a few Dagetti, my group only has one male. So it's always good to have spare males um, and, you know, breed as a group. Um, but what I actually did, because I had a lot of females, I gave one of these males and two females and they went back to Sydney with Dallas to go into his fish room to start breeding them. So there's a quite a lot of fish swapping and um, sharing of fish goes on as well as the formal raffle in these meetings. And um, these are my Degeti female heavy tank. Um, you can see the more settled male with sort of darker chin um, color so they're called the common name for the getty are red chin panchecks and um, as my wife says it doesn't look red it's more orange the chin um, beautiful little surface dwelling west african killifish uh, epiplates the getty monrovia um, the next fish i got from peter he brought me female um, Constantiae. Um, the female is the larger fish at the back, the paler fish with the two prominent dots. I put my male in there just to give you guys a um, comparison what the males and females look like in this species. And it was another um, opportunity to match some pairs. I actually had two males and one female and just getting this extra female will make my breeding efforts a lot more successful. It's um, quite a beautiful f fish again from uh, Brazil, sort of bronzy brown colors and markings and also this fish in its natural habitat is endangered because um, where it's naturally found is quite urbanized now with various buildings and etc so they are in a little bit of a um, under threat threat but um, in aquariums they are quite straightforward to spawn for an annual killifish 
and we have had these guys in Australia for quite a while. Our meetings last around four hours and Canberra people and interstate visitors leave after about four hours. It's quite an informal meeting, like I mentioned. We chat about not only killerfish, anything fish keeping and aquariums related, including uh, aquarium plants. And here is a couple of shots from the fish room, the striatum, killi, and the gunturai, the annual. Anyway, just a quick snapshot of how the meeting went. And thank you for watching this video by Kilio Cory's Fish Room.